Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Docs add-on which is maintained by the Storybook team. This add-on transforms your Storybook stories into component documentation that can be used by you and the other devs in your team. Let's see how that looks. First, we need to install the add-on. So in the terminal, run the command yarn add dash d at storybook slash add-on hyphen docs. Now this add-on is maintained by the storybook team. So instead of having to import it in preview.js, we can directly add it in main.js. To the list of add-ons already present, add one more. Add storybook slash add-on hyphen docs. And that is pretty much the setup. Let's run storybook and see the changes. Now, when storybook loads, you can see that beside the canvas tab, we have another tab for docs. If I open the chakra button stories, go to docs, you can see that we have the success, danger, and log buttons all being displayed one after the other. Out of the three stories we have, the first one gets picked as the primary story. So ideally, you would want to just have a normal component as your first story and then the variants after that. They get listed under the stories heading. Now the most important feature is the ability to view the code for a story. If I click on the show code button, you can see the code corresponding to that particular story. So in the project you're working on, if you have to use a certain component, you can visit the docs tab, take a look at the code and then copy paste it into your editor. You can then add or remove some code based on your requirement. This also gives you an insight into the different properties that a particular component can accept. Consuming components created by others will become much easier with this add-on. So that is the docs add-on, an add-on that you should definitely include in your storybook. We have a few more add-ons to go through, so I'll see you guys in the next video.